Welcome to Around the W, and let's kick things off down in the Midwest with the Chicago Sky. One of the greatest players of our time, Candace Parker, well, she missed about three weeks with a nasty ankle sprain, and she returns to her team as they're on a seven-game losing streak. Snap! The Sky have went on to win five in a row. In her six games with the Sky, Candace Parker has played. She's averaging close to a double-double, but aside from those numbers, Chicago head coach and GM James Wade tells us that having Parker back on the court provides the team with an instant sense of calm and a boost of energy. The Sky have also recently returned sharpshooter Allie Quigley, who missed some time with a hamstring injury, and Stephanie Dolson, who was with Team USA qualifying for the three-on-three -three Olympic event. Make no mistake, this fully locked and loaded Chicago Sky team is putting the W on notice. WNBA All-Star, it's back. That's right, the league announced recently that the event will be hosted in Vegas on July 14th. Vegas in basketball, come on. However, this being an Olympic year, the format is a little bit different and a lot interesting. This All-Star game will feature the All-Stars voted in from the USA Basketball Women's National Team versus the remaining WNBA All-Stars voted in by the fans, players, media, and coaches. I say fans first because you matter. 50% of the WNBA All-Star vote goes to the fans, so make sure you get to work and vote. It's open already. It closes July 27th, so log on WNBA.com slash vote. And before we leave you, I'm going to give you one last empowering, brilliant, flat-out dominating thought, and that is Tina Charles. The former MVP might have a chip on her shoulder after being unexpectedly traded in April 2020 to the Washington Mystics, who seem to be welcoming her with open arms. Last week in a win over Indiana, Charles became the first player in WNBA history to record 30 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals in a single game. Tina stays winning off the court, too. She directed and produced a short film that recently premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival. Well, that's it for another segment of Around the W. See you next time.